So the other day I got these bad boys. They were holding, I believe, sugar syrup that they use for sodas and drinks and stuff. So currently they have some chlorine in them and I'm just going to mix those around and then dump out the chlorine, rinse them out really good with house water. I am just going to use my normal hose, but I think it'll be clean enough because I am going to put a little bit of bleach in the barrels after I have finished swishing them around. So this water is city water, which means I don't necessarily need to treat it, but I am going to put some bleach in it. If I were doing well water like I did with my other water storage that I have, um, I would do one teaspoon per five gallons, but this is city water. It's already got treatment. I think we've got enough in there to kind of rinse out some of this chlorine. So it took me about three good rinses of the barrel to get all the chlorine smell out. I definitely wanted that out because I don't want my water tasting like that. It no longer smells like chemicals at all and I'm happy with that so I'm going to just go ahead and fill it up with city water. If I had a choice I would take it over to a well. Um, I have friends and family who have wells and I would take it to a well and fill it up there. But obviously, once it's full, it weighs like 400 pounds. And like I said, I'm only going to put half the chlorine since the city water is treated and it's got chlorine probably residue still in the barrel. So I'm going to do about 30 mils of chlorine, which is roughly like 6 teaspoons. Let me just give you a quick walkthrough of my setup here too. So on the side of my house over here, this is the north side of my house. My house faces west. On the north side here, we only get sun in the late evening for around two hours during the summertime and probably less during the wintertime. So I brought over this big pallet that I got from when we built our playset. Let's check out that video if you haven't already. And this pallet I just put here, I probably didn't need it. I could just put the barrels on the rocks and I think they would do okay. Um, the rocks don't have chemicals in them like concrete does that it's going to leach in. So it probably would be fine on just rocks, but I feel better with it just having more airflow. I feel like it gives it just like a cleaner look. I can get the surface more level and I'm not worried about the house or anything going on back there with bugs or mold or anything, water getting trapped. Um, so I just went ahead and put it on these pallets. And I can fit the two barrels here along with uh, lots of water bricks, which I'm going to be getting more water bricks. But right now this is what I've got. I may end up getting more barrels and filling up the pallet with barrels and then putting water bricks either in front of the barrels or off to the side here. So why is water storage so important? I feel like food storage is never complete until you have a full water storage. For my family, we have 
six people and a dog. So we need a lot of water storage. A lot of people recommend storing one gallon per day per person. I actually want to store three gallons per day per person. And my goal is to get a solid two or three weeks of water storage for my whole family at three gallons per person per day. And that's not including the dog. She probably only needs a gallon. So why three gallons? Is because first, I just drink a lot of water. I already drink like at least a gallon of water every day. That's a lot, I know. I have my big 40 ounce Stanley jug and I fill it up like four times a day. For our food storage, we do do some canning and if a lot of your food storage is canned food, you may not need so much water storage because canned food already has water in it. For us, we're getting a freeze dryer in a couple weeks and freeze dried food obviously needs water to rehydrate. So for us, we need a lot of extra water in our food storage to make the food that we have in our food storage work for us. I also store a lot of dry goods like rice, beans, wheat, and none of that has water already in it. So I'm gonna need a lot of water for food storage. I'm gonna need a lot of water just for drinking. Plus we have babies. I need water for cleaning, all kinds of things. So my goal is to get four of these 55 gallon barrels. Plus I've got our smaller water jugs, our water bricks, and I'll put a link to those down below. They're awesome. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just really like them because they are super, super durable. We use them for camping and stuff a lot. I just toss one in the back whenever we go somewhere. I find that it gives me peace of mind having those just because I can go fill those up somewhere and bring them back to the house if we really need to. Eventually, I also want to get some rain gutter store water barrels, ones that fit up against the house, connect to my rain gutter downspouts, and fill up from rainwater on the roof. And that will be a lot for gardening, and if I really need to, I can definitely filter that water and treat it and then use it. Water is so, so important, so do not underestimate your need for water in an emergency. Make sure you have water storage.